Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. Today we are going to be taking Blender 3D objects and bringing them into Apple Motion. The first thing is first, we are going to need to install an add-on for Blender. It's completely free by Rob McCrosby. And so all you're gonna do is go to the link in the description and it'll take you to this GitHub page and you're going to locate this IO scene USDZ. You could download the entire thing by clicking the green arrow and clicking download zip or you can click on the one you want and just press download so you're gonna want to make sure to get this io scene usdz dot zip and you can drop that into your downloads once that is all downloaded we can jump on over into blender so you will go on up to edit and go over to preferences and you will find this install button. So click on that and locate your download. We want the iocnusdz.zip. So you'll just wanna install that. Once that is brought in, you will see it gives you this checkbox here. Just enable that and you should be good to go. Now from here, we can go ahead, delete this cube, shift A to add a mesh. This isn't going to be a total blender tutorial or anything. Uh, we could smooth out this monkey, so we'll add a subdivision surface modifier, and maybe we can make it red just so we can really see it in Apple Motion, but you'll want to make sure that you set this to the color scheme that you want first before bringing it in motion because it's much more difficult to change the colors over there. Go ahead, right click, shade smooth, and uh, yeah, you can dial in all your settings as you please. From there, we will go on up to file, go to export, and find this new option USD. DZ, and we can just bring this into the folder that we want. And just a quick thing with the textures and ambient occlusions for this add-on, if you check those, it's going to use the Cycles render engine to render out all the angles and stuff. Um, so it's going to take quite a bit of time, but it does work. It just might feel like it's freezing. So anyway, so I'm just gonna call it monkey and export. After that, you can save your Blender project if you like. We'll jump on over into Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command Option N. And today, I'm just gonna select the Motion project. You can set your frame rate to whatever you normally like, your duration, all of that, and push Open. Going to go ahead and full screen this. From here, go ahead and push Command I to import. And if we locate our monkey here, we can push import. So we now have a 3D object in Apple Motion. Now, something I have noticed is sometimes I have strange issues that happen with objects in here if they are not in a 3D group. So go ahead and enable the 3D group. That is going to fix any problems if you do 3D tracking with like M Tracker, which by the way, I have tutorials coming out on. Uh, I just wanted to show the basics of bringing in 3D objects. So anyway, we have our object here. It's in a 3D group now by clicking that button there. And now you can see we have these on-screen controls to rotate the monkey around as we please. And one feature I really like in Apple Motion that makes this very simple to use is have your object selected, go up to add object, find the light setup, and you have all of these options for lighting that's pre-set up. So I'm going to do backlit, and so now our monkey is all backlit in its backlit glory. You could also go into each of these lights later and dial in the intensity how you like it, um, just to get the look you want, but that's just a very quick way to get some lights in your scene. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a great New Year's and Christmas season, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.